Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me back at it once again, the Coast Kid Fun Day. You know, spending the stuff for you and for yours. Been on a little hiatus. But um, we're going to start cracking back off with this one, you know. This come from political. You know what I'm saying? Congress. DNC faces massive staff of people at the uproar over diversity. The departure come as Chairwoman Shirley Bontos faces accusations that she's done little to address the lack of diversity in the upper ranks of the campaign arm. This came out July 29th, so you know I'm kind of slowing the ball. The top echelons at the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee left their jobs Monday, a shakeup following a pair of political stories detailing a deep and unease within the party's campaign apparatus over lack of diversity. On Monday morning, Allison Jackalow, DCCC Executive Director and close ally of Rep. Shirley Burris, Democrat of Illinois, chaired the committee, resigned during the tense meeting at the party's Capitol headquarters. And in the next 10 hours, much of the senior staff was out. Jerry Smith, communication director, another Botos ally, Melissa Miller, a top DCCC communication aide, Molly Rittner, political director, Nick Pisano, deputy executive director, and Van Orams, the deputy director of diversity. Jackie Newman, the chief operating, operation, operating officer for the campaign arm, will serve as an intermediary executive director and facilitate the search for a permanent replacement, Bozo said in a statement late Monday. Today has been a sobering day filled with tough conversations that too often we avoid, Walter said. But I can confidently that we are starting to take the first steps towards putting the DNC, the C, back on the path of protecting the span our majority with a staff that truly reflects the diversity of our Democratic caucus and party. Rittner was one of the two national political directors at the DCCC. Corey Kalowski, the other national political director, is still with the campaign arm, according to multiple sources. While most of the staff departures are effective immediately, Miller is expected to remain at the DCCC temporarily to help the transition of a new communication team, according to sources. Political reported last, reported last week that top congressional lawmakers and the Congressional Black Caucus and the Congressional Hispanic Caucus were fierce with Botos, saying that she was shortchanging minorities by excluding them from the Sarah senior staff and failing to deliver to the promises that she made during her campaign for the chairmanship. Botos surrounded herself with loyalists, issuing the typical campaign hands who run major party apparatuses. Today, I recognize that. At times, I have fallen short in leading these talented individuals. To my colleagues who have the utmost respect for, I hear your concerns, and we must, can, and must do better, Bruto said. Norman would chair an executive council conduct a national and open search for new executive directors, Bruto said. Several of the top Triple D staffers, including Daniel Kazin, the deputy executive director, and Kalaski, will also be on the council. In addition, senior DCCC aides Charles Benton, Jackie Forte McKay, Stephen McCain, Dennis Rye, Julian Satwick, Alexander Smith, Michael Smith, and Ryan Thompson have been appointed to the committee to lead the search. The staff turmoil follows criticism of many Democrats that Putos had did little to attract the elected diversity in the upper ranks of the campaign arm since winning the chairmanship last year. Butos also rankled some Democrats by routinely saying she was out firmly, she's out to finally build a world class DCCC, which is perceived as a slight to the previous chairman, Rep. Benjamin Ray Lupens of New Mexico, who helped lead the party back to the majority after eight years out of power. And lawmakers felt misled about Butos' handling of Taylor Coleman, a DCCC employee who came under fire for a series of derogatory tweets she sent nearly a decade ago, disparaging the LGBTQ community and Hispanics. Coleman is still employed with the campaign arm. A staff turnover of this magnitude seven months in the Democrat majority is jarring and present at Butu with a set of new challenges. She'd be forced to rebuild a committee top leadership from scratch in the middle of a presidential campaign that has much of the party's best talent tied up. Butos is indeed under a microscope. Democrats across the Capitol have probably griped about what they see as a subpar campaign committee with a chairwoman unresponsive to members' concern and unable and unwilling to live up to her own promises to hire a diverse staff. 
Schultz did not respond to the email seeking comment. Much of the senior communications staff was in a flux Monday evening and did not respond to emails. Bluetooth flew back to Washington this week, beginning on an August recess to attend an emergency staff meeting at the DCCC on Monday. And at the beginning of the meeting, Jockos resigned and left the session immediately. The meeting, which was described by several sources as a spirited and poignant, lasted more than an hour and a half. When I was in eighth grade, I decided that my life would be dedicated to serving my country. I did it first in uniform, but since I tried to be a good force, force of good in our politics. Jack Law, a Iraq, Iraq war veteran, said in a statement, As sometimes selfless service means having the courage to take a bow for the sake of the mission, especially when stakes are so high. Bruce's decision to return to Washington to address and committee staff in person came with several aides demanding the immediate restructuring of the senior management in recent days. The staff shakeups followed a motocious weekend for Butos and our senior team, in which they struggled to respond to the demands of the Democratic lawmakers and committee of aides for immediate action to address diversity issues. Jackos convened an emergency all staff meeting that was described very emotional by a committee aide present. Jucka cried as she took responsibility for not doing enough to diversify the upper ranks of some staffers complaining that when neither she nor her deputies were people of color. Butos had a tense call with the staffers on Saturday before deciding to fly back and address the committee in person on Monday. On the call, Butos briefly apologized for offending people by describing her husband and children as being of Mexican descent and announced that she will undergo diversity and conclusion training in weeks to come according to multiple sources. I had never been more committed to expanding and protecting this majority while creating a workplace that we can all be proud of. I will work tirelessly to ensure that our staff is truly inclusive, Buto said Monday night. And there you have it. She even had to apologize for calling her kids Mexican. That's crazy. Calling them, you know what I'm saying? So they briefly apologize for offending people by describing her husband and her children of being of Mexican descent. She had to apologize for that too. That's that's crazy. Wow, that's that's just that's just wild. But this is how this stuff is going in the, in, the, in the wing of the trip, you know, of the Democratic Party right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's how things is going. But these situations is fluid. Anyway, this is a Kosky of Fun Day. Hey, subscribe to the channel, donate to the movement. Much love. Peace.